I sit like this. It looks like an Italian headshot. Like this, or I could have a boat right here. Yeah, a giant belly. Hello! We are the Bryles. I am Aleha. And I'm Blake. We're really happy to have you here. We have Bo here with us, but we have how many other One of members? three dogs, dog children. And then we have a human child who is currently taking a nap. I'm sure he'll appear somewhere. And one more child. Oh yeah, on the way. I was like, where? <laughs> so yes. all in that puts us at like, how many beating hearts? One, two, three, four, four. five, six, seven. Seven We're a family hearts. of seven. Okay, so we kind of wanted to make an introduction video for those that do or don't know us. I mean, I guess mostly for those that know us that are kind of like, I know the Bryles like bought a bus and now they're traveling full time. We kind of wanted to explain the why. You know, we've had a lot of, a lot of change over the last like eight months, you know, involving selling a house, I guess buying a smaller house on wheels, yeah. traveling, starting a business. Getting uh, pregnant. Getting pregnant. <laughs> We, that was kind of like the asterisk of all of it because I think for the most part, it's like we knew the craziness was gonna happen, but the pregnancy, I was, I, I've you know always been told I was infertile. We tried for four years with Everest. I'm sure we'll share that story another time, um, but then randomly found out we were pregnant. So that yeah, added a little twist to all this. We feel like all of this change has you know, inspired a lot of thought in our own lives and, and how we approach it. So our professional life with our at home life and we just wanted to be a source in other people's lives of you know, a lot of the challenge but also a lot of the things that you can do uh, as a family. Yeah, and like not letting the little things stop you, you know, like not letting a pregnancy stop you or having a toddler stop you because it, I don't know, makes it more interesting. <laughs> The theme is life short, and we wanted to share a crazy slice of ours. So how it all started was kind of here. A year ago, we, you know, I was working from home. I, I was working a consulting job, and and know, I've been parenting slash working from home for the last while. So since we could both kind of go somewhere, we spent about a month here in Central Oregon, where I grew up, and. That sparked a lot of this change that we're talking about. Um, it was actually the reason why we wanted to be sitting in these chairs. For as the, beautiful as they are. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, what is it, like a, a safari print? <laughs> it was a year ago, we were sitting in these chairs, just kind of talking and taking a... a like a life inventory. Yeah, we are taking almost. an inventory on our lives. We just asked like the big questions, like what do we really want to do in life? And that's where a lot of change was stimulated and uh, probably more thanks to her because I'm not as risky. I'm kind of like the dreamer, I guess. Like when we moved to Texas, I stopped working my public health job and started doing social media full time. And so I saw that like when you throw yourself into your passion, like you can make it work. And there is just something about being in nature. And like if you guys, we'll show you guys a video, like if you guys see Sun River, it's just like beautiful and serene and I think it kind of like opened up our minds and our hearts to maybe something more. We want more but we want less if that makes sense. Like we had the great big house in Dallas, Texas and um, you know we had the big backyard and you know all the things and we miss and we love our friends there and uh, my family is there so it was super hard but we kind of were like, we want a little more fullness in different ways. Like we want nature, we want to give our son something. We want to sell, you know, the material things that we have so that we can afford to do this full time. Blake um, is working on a startup. I'm still doing social media full time. And so we did still need that financial backing that selling our cars and our house and our furniture gave us and um, it so far has 1000% been worth it. It's been incredible how many friends we've been able to see thus far on the trip because we've yeah. been traveling. Like people wanna come meet us 
in some of these like amazing places we are. So that's kind of like a pro and a con. No, Emmy, no tocar. From this point on, tons of dominoes had to fall. More of the story is, you know, you, we've had a lot of conversations with people about this. A lot of people say, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm not in that situation. I, I really wouldn't be able to do something like that. And frankly, like. We, we were we either. were not we weren't even close to being in that situation. I, I worked a consulting job that you know was as much as 60 hours a week. You know we had the house, the white picket fence. We were, our roots were down, and so what we want to share with people ultimately from this and from our story is, if you have a a passion for something, you can make it happen. Initially, we weren't really in a place to be like, oh, we're gonna take this glamorous trip. We have all this money to do so, and like. We're free and flexible, like that's not us. We're just a couple in our mid 20s. Uh, well, I, I just turned 30. Blake is old. Blake is 30. <laughs> just kidding. I'm 28. We were in corporate America. We were grinding. We were paying bills. We were just living life, and we decided, like, you know what? We can do this, and and we want to do this. Obviously, it hasn't been like all rainbows and butterflies, but it's been pretty dang amazing and yeah, we, really we really haven't regretted it at all. If you are on the fence and you're like, well I work from home, I have some flexibility, I have some stuff I could sell, and you want to travel or you want to move to a new country for a couple months or you know you want to buy a small little trailer or do van life or whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. Don't let like society and like the things that you think that you have to do because it's the norm stop you from you know living the dream and what, what aleja is saying about about that fence that you might be on like she said it could be anything we know that when like we're on our deathbeds well hopefully this isn't the cause of us being on our <laughs> deathbeds maybe i know looking back one day i'm not going to be like ah, i just wish i worked a little bit longer a few more years had a little bit more money and just and just ground it out uh, I know looking back upon that, and that really is how we got to our answer is, when we're looking back onto this, what do we want to say that we had done? And uh, we, we took the leap, we're taking the leap. We're in it. We're in it, yeah. And we can't wait to share with you guys. We, we want to share everything with you guys. We're gonna share the adventures, um, how we got here. We'll do another talking video of the logistics as well. Like We'll definitely share that with you guys kind of um, what that looked like but as far as filming goes we did really really good starting from the beginning filming everything um, and our plan was to release YouTube videos from start to finish and you know TikToks and Instagram and whatever um, but we had a couple of major a series major of unfortunate events hiccups <laughs> um, the universe kind of you know but we'll release the videos now, some of them. Yeah, long story short and lessons learned combined into one thing. Save your videos just like instantly, whether it's family videos, professional or whatever, get those backed up. We kind of just like sat on them. We'll tease it out, we'll go into more detail later of, of how we lost so much footage. But one involved a flying robotic object flying into water under 100 feet deep. Yeah, and me transferring the car <laughs> into that drone because I forgot the SD card in it. So don't use your main SD card. Take your ADHD medication, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Second, we got our full like camera system stolen with the card in it in San Francisco. Everything. And so we lost everything after that. And so a lot, a lot of those videos going forward that you'll see in terms of our commentary and everything along the way, we, we still want to talk about it, all that stuff that we lost, so you might see it from this setting, us from the future, talking about the past. And we have like phone clips and stuff, so we'll do our best to, you know, get everything compiled and still make it so that you guys are getting some good quality content, but we are unfortunately <laughs> missing a lot. But like we said, um, a lot of these videos that were going to come out once a week, you'll see us detailing a lot of you know our travels and journeys and everything. We hope that you enjoy our channel and us, and we hope that we can bring you some fun videos and value. 
and yeah, chase your dreams.